off the tape for this lightweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 152 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Introducing the challenger, the Flash. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this moment. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Ah, that jab hurt him. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Lee gets caught with that punch. Lands the double jab.
checks that leg kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, high amplitude head kick! That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. What an end to round one! signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round two on the way. Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Punch lands. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Going back to his patented. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, he was a little bit lack. Oh! And now he's got that tight clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Punch over the top. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Gotta be kind of fun to strut your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, brutal knee to the body. advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Let's go! Keep that footwork going! Oh, oh. What a punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice loop and punch. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Back. An obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Liver kick. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling the power. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just misses there with the left. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's very tricky when he throws that body to him. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. That'll do it! He's done, he's done! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing, starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon,